We have a great day planned today, going to the birthplace of Elijah the prophet, and then going to Mass at Our Lady of the Mountains, where there was a miracle took place, and then to an authentic Jordanian lunch, and on our way to Jerash, and then to the Jabbok River, where Jacob wrestled with the angel, and then back for free time to the hotel. They push the button on the outside here for your floor. No buttons inside the elevator. Down we go for breakfast. prayer with a, one of the psalms, but I want to read this, the antiphon, because this is the antiphon for today. When will I come to the end of my pilgrimage and enter the presence of God? Well, we're at the beginning of our pilgrimage, but we are always in the presence of God. So let's begin with um, Psalm 42. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day, as I hear it said all the day long, where is your God? These things I will I remember as I pour out my soul, how he would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness. Start off by thanking Corporate Travel, because uh, I always want to mention them because they do such a great job with us. We, um, 12 years ago when we started all of this, uh, John Hale came to visit me and I said, let's give it a try. And uh, But corporate travel has been great and they, uh, they I use them exclusively because they really uh, do good work for us. And they, you know, if you do other trips, you can go with them too because they do Italy and a lot of other places. And I also wanted to just read this. I'll sit down when I read it so I don't get car sick. But Teresa Tamio, who was going to be on the trip with us, she wanted me to read this to all of you. It's, it may take five minutes to read it, but she wanted to, me to read it to all of you to say her regrets. So I haven't read it myself yet, so I have no idea what it says. So here we go. Hello, folks. Well, as the saying goes, if you want to make God laugh, make your own plans. This is the first time in all the years I've been working with my dear friends Janet and Steve and corporate travel that I actually had to cancel my involvement in a pilgrimage. And to say that I'm heartbroken about it is a huge understatement. I You see, it's more beautiful on women. Sorry. I like showing our groups things that are kind of out of the way that others don't see. This is Mar Elias, Saint Elias, and we went up to the birthplace called Tishbe, where he was born. Here we are looking out over Israel in the distance in the Jordan River and here you'll see the Palestinian flag and we enter in through the gates into Mar Elias. There was a great monastery built here in the Byzantine period and this is our group looking and this is actually the birthplace of Elijah. You're seeing it right there. That hilltop is where he was born. Right now. Now we see mosaics. This is the church from the Byzantine times to acknowledge Saint Elias or Elijah who was born here. This is the area of Tishbe and in 1st Kings chapter 17 verse 1 it says Elijah the Tishbite from the settlements in Gilead. These are the mountains of Gilead here and this is where Elijah the prophet was born. We're looking across into Israel on the far side over there those are the mountains of Samaria 
right there, the mountains of Samaria and Israel. And Elisha, Elisha, was born right over there in a city called Abel Mahola. So here we are, showing our group the birthplace and the church of St. Elias here in northern Jordan. The river Jordan, which comes from the north. Last month of my life writing the script for our next movie on Elijah and Elisha. I have to call him Elisha because in the movie to say Elijah and Elisha sounds too close. So, but Elijah and Elisha. And so when I look at studying the archeology span and the dictionaries and so on, there's pretty much no question. This is Tishbe, the place of Elijah's birth. And I'm gonna read from 1 Kings chapter 17 where he's first introduced in the Bible. It says, now Elijah the Tishbite, Guess why they call him that? Because he's born in Tishbe, the Tishbite, who was in this was with the settlers in Gilead. So Elijah stands up, born here, looking out over Israel. He goes into the mountains of Samaria. See those mountains there? Those are the mountains of Samaria. That's where that's uh, where Janet and I are going to be filming here and there in June. We're coming back for two weeks with Elisa. We're going to be filming the whole story of Elijah and Elisha. Too hot. <laughs> yeah, I know. But he went from here over to the mountains of Samaria, and he said to Ahab, "Because you are." Denying Yahweh, the God of Israel, there is going to be no rain until I say so. Now, but how, who's he to say so? Isn't Baal the one who's in charge of rain? Century AD by the Muslims against the Crusaders. So Mar Elias Mountain <coughs> is a part of Hajdun district. After driving through Anjara, we come to the outskirts of the city, but in a remote area, and there's a church and a monastery here called Our Lady of the Mountain. Tradition says the Holy Family stayed here once. We get off the bus and we go into the church, which is also a monastery, an orphanage, and a school, and it's a quaint little area off the side streets. And a miracle took place here in 2010. This statue that you see here of Mary began to weep drops of human blood, and it was tested and confirmed that it really was blood. And beautiful mosaics of the birth of Mary and of Jesus, then the life of Christ and his ministry, and then the passion of Christ and his resurrection, and then the end times. This is the Trinity in heaven and Pentecost and Mary being made queen. And the Cairo priest, he's from uh, Egypt, came and gave us a talk. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We prepare ourselves on this, the first full day of our pilgrimage journey, to encounter the Lord in this holy land. Let us ask the Lord to be our By now everyone's getting hungry so we head through town to our restaurant you see here called the Artemis restaurant and uh, before we go in we actually go watch the man making bread which we're going to eat soon. Our group watching the man make bread there in the oven and I'll show it to you by video in just a second. Aha uh -huh. look at the heart. Oh. Putting a heart on the bread. Uh -huh. That's delicious. You don't get any bread fresher than that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. Woo! Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
uh, lunches are great because you get the fresh vegetables. Everything's fresh. Cabbage, and this is the best hummus ever. And beans, and cabbage, and tomatoes, and cucumbers. A lot of fresh foods. Rice, eggplant, and piles of chicken. Right? This is like a, a, not sure, it's a cream of lamb, cauliflower, and pasta. And uh, here's everybody enjoying their lunches. Doing all right, Father? Yes, doing very well. Good. Romans were pagan and God destroyed this place so that's the idea and up till now we have Muslim groups who never enter this place they drive around but they will not enter the city of Jerush they will see it from outside Can we have your blessing, Emperor? <laughs> you always have my blessing, Steve. <laughs> so, we're going to have the girls on one side, boys on the other side, and do the racing. <laughs> this is the Hippodrome where they did the horse races. Look how huge this is. They'd race around all the way down there and then come back around on this side. The great Hippodrome okay, here in so, Jerash. The seats are over there. There were seats. And there you hear to the call to prayer, the afternoon call to prayer from the mosque. We hear about Jacob wrestling with God and he saw God face to face and he lived. He named this place Penuel, which means that he wrestled with God. This is Jabbok River, J-A-B-B-O-K. And it's the river where Jacob wrestled with the angel and our, we stopped here. It's not a tourist spot, but I love to show people the places of the Bible. God walked here. If you think that God wrestled with Jacob here, then God walked here. And this is where Jacob was given the new name Israel because after he wrestled all night, the name Israel means to wrestle with God and to prevail. So Jacob wrestled with God right here on this river and he prevailed and that's where the word Israel came from. The first time the word Israel is used in the Bible. Here's Father James Conlon having fun on the Jabbok River. Fun until I beat him in wrestling, that is. <laughs> Just like the angel wrestled with Jacob. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jordan has a great king and his picture is everywhere like here on the side of the building. He's very wise and as we're driving through Amman we're grateful to him for keeping this country safe and peaceful and prosperous and it's a secular country and we can go here perfectly safe and visit all the biblical sites. And we arrive back at our Le Meridian Hotel and plenty of time to have several hours free this afternoon before dinner at 7 and everybody gets to take a nap or go into Amman and relax. So it's a great day. Hope we can join, you can join us again tomorrow. <laughs>